Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Earth Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of Kabaiba, an essential oil that comes from the resin of a variety of trees that grow in South America and grow beautifully tall, up to 100 feet tall. Now, the locals and the natives have used this essential oil and this resin for hundreds of years to heal all different aspects of the body. It's basically extracted very similar to how we get maple syrup by drilling a hole in the tree and out comes that and we get the essential oil from the resin that comes out of the tree or is gifted to us from the tree. Now one of the main constituents of Kabiba essential oil is something called carophylline. This is also found in cannabis essential oil. Now don't get too excited. Ca the essential oil and the components in it in Kabiba actually go to a certain receptors in our body. Now there are CB1 receptors, these are in our central nervous system and these can cause hallucinogenic effects. Kabiba doesn't affect these, it affects the CB2 receptors. Now these are located around our body and are part of our immune system or our endocrine systems and what they do is that Kabiba actually helps with over inflammation to calm that down. Now inflammation causes lots of different issues in our body and by able to maintaining inflammation that's going to bring great health promoting effects. It also is great for the mind and for the spirit and we're going to explore that in this video and you're going to see that Kabiba is an amazing gift gifted to us by these beautiful trees in South America. There are certain essential oils that are specialists. Just think of eucalyptus, which is really good for the respiratory system, or wintergreen and birch, which are really good for the muscular system. Kabiba, though, is not a specialist, but a generalist, and it brings general health and well being to several systems of the body. It really helps the proper functioning of the respiratory system, the cardiovascular system, the digestive system, and the nervous system, and brings them all into balance. It's really quite calming and soothing. It's really good for the skin, so including it in any skincare can be really beneficial to bring that back into balance, and it really helps benefit the function or the proper function of the liver. So how can you use Kabiba essential oil? Use it every day and it's going to support all of your body. In fact, it also helps to enhance other essential oils by adding a little bit of Kabiba to them. It'll basically bring up their properties. So if you've got an expensive essential oil, Kabiba, which is relatively priced, can actually enhance that. So aromatically is a great way to bring that in and that's going to really support your respiratory system. You can use it topically by applying it to your body, diluting it where necessary. This is going to help your skin and also soak in and get to all those other systems. And occasionally you will find different Kabiba essential oils that are actually internal or are safe to take internally. And ingesting a couple of drops under the tongue each day is going to support the well-being of your absolute body. So anywhere that you can use Kabiba is going to be a great benefit, not just to one part of your body, but to all parts of your body. And that's one of the reasons why Kabiba is really great. Now the main reason why a lot of people love it is it helps to reduce over inflammation and helps with pain. If you're experiencing any type of pain, using Kabiba regularly will help to support the body in managing and balancing and even getting rid of that pain or inflammation. There are so many different ailments that are actually caused by overinflammation in the body. So Kabiba is going to be such a valuable essential oil to incorporate into your daily routine to help maintain a regular healthy well-being. Because of Kabiba's beautiful effect on the nervous system, it really helps to calm everything down. So it's very soothing on the mind. As it brings a bit more groundedness to you, it has a real grounding woody scent to it, what you'll find is it allows you to dig a little bit deeper and start to dig up any of those emotions that have been kind of bubbling under there that you haven't had time to look at. Things like shame, guilt, self-loathing, any of those things that cause you to keep tripping up in your life or keep causing you to sabotage different aspects of your life. Kapiba grounds you, lets you deal with them, lets you actually forgive yourself and forgive other people that are causing these unwanted emotions to keep on harboring inside you and to let them go. As you start to let them go, Kabiba lets you feel more grounded and more at peace and starts to give you space where you can start to create the life that you want, a peaceful and harmony one, uh, or harmonious one. So using Kabiba either Anyway, aromatically, internally, topically, breathing that in will calm the nerves and give you space to feel a lot more grounded like those big 100 foot trees and to start getting a bit more balance in your life and in your mind. As you build a relationship with Kabiba, it'll allow you to start to bring balance and harmony to the body and to settle and calm the mind as it soothes all your nerves. 
here from this grounded point of view, you can start to create the life and the future that you want. It works really beautifully with creative visualization. Get your Kabiba, put a few drops in your hands and breathe that deeply in or pop it in a diffuser. Because of its grounding center, it'll allow you to concentrate and just sit there and really start to engage all of your senses and visualize and create a future you want. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? What does it sound like? And most importantly, what does it feel like inside? Really start to bring that to life and allow yourself to start to create a future that you want. When we have these worries and anxieties and little stresses each day, they take us off path. Kabiba will bring you back into alignment. Not only will it bring you back into alignment with your life path and where you want to be going, but it brings you back in to commune with the divine. Nature, the divine, God, spirit, whatever you see it as, whatever that spirituality is, is always trying to communicate with us. But it's those daily stresses and little inconveniences, maybe baggage we keep carrying each day, that stops us from communing with the divine. As we deal with that, Kabaiba will actually allow us to get back that relationship with the divine, with our spirituality, and our spirit can lead us and guide us to fulfilling our full potential and blessing the earth and sharing our gifts in so many different ways each day. You may be familiar with the seven main chakras, and if you're working with them, Kabaiba, with its grounding scent, is really going to help with the base chakra. However, you've got to remember this essential oil comes from a part of the plant that is deep within that tree, and so it has the potential to take you to an even deeper chakra, and this is known as the Earth Star Chakra. The Earth Star Chakra is located 15 centimeters below our feet, and whereas our base chakra is just about our own solo relationship with the planet and our physical reality and how we feel safe, secure, and able to adapt and deal with our everyday kind of basic animalistic needs, the Earth Star Chakra is to do with our relationship with all the that is on this planet. Our relationship to the planet, our relationship to animals, plants, every other person on this planet, and that real deeper spiritual connection, that feeling of oneness. So if you would really like to work with this chakra, then Kabaiba can help you with that. Again, inhaling it or anointing yourself on the bases of the feet can really help you to delve deep and feel that feeling of oneness. This is really gonna help if you're feeling quite lonely. Visualize a deep, maybe a dark brown sphere of light, 15 centimeters below your feet, and use different chakras of brown colors, uh, or crystals of brown colors that will really help with helping to build that energy center and enhance that connection as much as you want. So working with Kabaiba can really dive you deep into a connection of oneness with this planet Earth and all that dwell within it. Kabaiba essential oil is going to blend beautifully with so many other powerful essential oils. Try blending it with frankincense, another mighty one when it comes to cellular support. Having a little bit of these two each day is really going to support every aspect of your body. Now, if you're wanting a bit of a flavor in the water, then adding it with a bit of a citrus, and remember only using therapeutic grade ones here, ones that are fine to ingest, is gonna really boost your overall health as well. If you need to help with digestion, then adding it with a bit of peppermint and either rubbing that on the digestive organs, or again, ingesting that with water will be a really nice duo. If you've got skin irritations and you wanna soothe them down, blending it with blue tansy, can be a really nice soothing thing. Now, blue tans, you remember, can make your skin go a bit blue, so that might be a bit of a nighttime one. Now, also, if you want to make a beard oil, mixing it with a nice carry oil, like a fractionated coconut oil, and something like um, spruce can be really nice, and that can be really nice for the beard. Obviously, I can't grow a beard very well, so <laughs> you know what I mean, though, for those that do have a beard, it'll really help that hair of the beard. Now, aromatically, it blends really nice if you want a real warming one. So then blend it with cedarwood, cinnamon, or cedarwood, and this will create a real warming environment at home, nice and grounding and stabilizing, and really enhance that. But remember, Kabaiba helps to enhance and lift any essential oil. So a drop of Kabaiba will go a long way in enhancing any blend that you're making for your physical well-being, your mental or emotional well-being, as well as your spiritual well-being. Are you excited about using Kabaiba essential oil? Well, here's how you can make more out of it, by combining it with other things, the gifts of nature and our environment around us that really enhance Kabaiba essential oil. I love working with crystals, and there's a crystal called Elat Stone, spelled E-I-L-A-T Stone. It's a combination of different crystals all grown together, and it's the National Stone of Israel. This really helps you to enhance your 
leadership in life, to take control, to lead with your heart and your wisdom and to go forth and make a big significant difference in the world. It was very much associated with King Solomon. Now, Kabaiba works really nicely with this because as we become more grounded and sensible and we let go of those everyday kind of petty worries and fears, things that hold us back, we can step forward and make a big difference in the world and Elat Stone actually helps us to do with that. Elat Stone does help with emotional healing as does Kabaiba, so they're a really nice duo. Now bring in an animal guide on top of that and the animal that keeps on coming to me when I'm working with Elat Stone and Kabaiba is the baboon. Now the baboon's obviously a primate but a very a very vocal one and a very powerful and aggressive one sometimes because they know what they want. Nothing messes with the baboon. So if you need a bit more strength to kind of start, you know, taking control of your life again, start working with a baboon. How do we do this? Hold a bit of Elat Stone, inhale your Kabaiba and see the baboon before you. Imagine it's just like a spirit guide or an angel and that, allow that baboon to communicate with you. Who knows how they will, but I'll find, you'll find that this guidance can be really quite deep and um, bring some really nice insights. Astrologically, I've been really drawn to work with Kabaiba with the asteroid Ceres, spelled C-E-R-E-S, as well as planet Earth and Venus because it has that real nurturing Earth kind of view. But Ceres is that real motherly kind of, um, you know, bringing abundance and bringing new growth and bringing new change, positive change to us and allowing us also to work through the seasons of the year and the seasons of our life. Now obviously she doesn't rule the day of the week, but Venus does, which is Friday. So Friday is the best day to do all your spiritual workings with your Kabaiba. I find that Kabaiba is going to be really nice and supportive of the star sign Taurus. Taurians, it allows us to shake off grudges and anything that's kind of holding us back and allows us to keep progressing in a nice, stable, grounded, powerful way. But that doesn't mean you have to be a Taurus to work with Kabaiba. We all can, but we can all start to manifest in a very grounded and sensible and balanced way. And Kabaiba will help us with that. Now, are you excited about working with Kabaiba essential oil? The brand that I use actually combines four species of Kabaiba essential oils all together so that you're getting the all-round benefits of this species of plant. If you'd like to know more about that or if you're interested in working with me for sharing these beautiful nature's gifts and helping other people around the world, then please check out my contact details below and I'd love to hear from you. And remember when you are choosing your brand or your choice of Kabaiba essential oil that they're not all created the same. Look for a pure therapeutic grade one where you know that everything in that bottle is from the Kabaiba plants and it hasn't been adulterated. Have you worked with Kabaiba essential oil? Our earth loving community would love to hear about your experiences so please leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.